What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Today, I'm going through and adjusting some things on the tune, which this is Michael's tune. He did a really good job with this tune. I just had to go through and adjust some air fuel ratios and stuff like that. Um, so it's not dialed in 100%, but it is dialed in way more and it is super fun. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and go out and get on it again to see how the new air fuel ratios are since I've dialed it in. Um, I'm still missing the wastegate firing, but there is one on its way from Amazon. So it should be here in the next couple days. So then I can build a full boost because right now it's hitting about two to three PSI. But even at two to three PSI, this thing screams way better than it did uh, prior to the turbo kit, obviously. And it's got long gears, which are great. And he can verify. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely fun. Um, even though it is a stock D15B engine uh, with a Skunk 2 intake manifold and an eBay turbo kit. And then obviously the turbo is not just a cheap eBay, it's a Turbonetics, but it does need seals. Um, he did tell me that they might be going bad. Um, they definitely are. So we were going to be pulling this out and putting a $98 cheap eBay turbo in place of it until it's rebuilt. And we'll, if we blow that up, then who cares? It's a $98 eBay turbo. <laughs> Better than blowing up a Turbinetic. So that's why it'll be coming out. But before it comes out, I wanted to go through the gears. I'm going to put a, a before video of how slow this thing was pulling through the gears. And then I'm going to put a video of us going out and doing a pull. So I'm going to record that. So here we go. All right. So now I'm going to go through the gears. It's not fast. So don't think that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we just got back and check this out. Right here where it says air fuel ratio, that's 12.23 to 1, really good. Um, it's actually just a little bit richer than that because there is a calibration uh, difference, so it's more like 12.0. But either way, it's pretty good. And the map right here where it says that, our basic pressure was three pounds. That's three pounds of boost and it pulled that good. Intake temps were beautiful, 74 degrees. Engine coolant temp, 166 degrees. Really, really good. Yeah. And duty cycle was at 100%. Kind of to be expected, though. I need to swap these two 40cc injectors out. But, uh, yeah. Definitely pulled hard. He can verify. Yeah. We were... there. It was actually pulling me back. Like, I was trying to hold the camera as well as I could. <laughs> you could tell from the, the video, like, it was... Moving yeah. me around quite a bit. Yeah, and this was uh, at an undisclosed location, so it was not on your public road, guys. Don't do this on your public road. That's very bad, it's right? It's irresponsible. Yeah, it's irresponsible for us to do such things like that. So definitely find some uh, property and, uh, you know, ask a buddy to go out there because it's really good to have friends with long airstrips and stuff. But anyways, um, yeah, so I got to get a solid mount set for this because, as you can see right here, the wastegate is hitting the hood when I get on it because the engine's actually jerking. So, 
did really, really good. Really happy with it. Um, also, off topic, but I'm going to be getting some hood shocks for this. So this uh, windshield doesn't get cracked again when I replace it. Because if you see, it's definitely nice and cracked over there. Because I went up like that. And then you can hear it touching it. So we're going to get some hood shocks installed soon. So if you guys were ever curious on that, I'll be doing that on the channel as well. But yeah, overall so good. Um, Michael will get in and retune everything once I get my bigger uh, pump, the 550 injectors, or even bigger. For right now, I'll throw the 550s because I already have them. Um, so we'll throw the 550s in, the bigger Walboro 450 pump, and then we'll slap some E85 on it so it'll be like his as E85. Granted, the 44 miles to the gallon right now is absolutely amazing. That will go away, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, like 20. Yeah, 20 is still not bad, but yeah, we'll have two tunes, one for uh, fuel sipper mode and then one for go fast mode. So it's, it's definitely pulling really good. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but the before and after kind of speaks for itself. This thing pulls incredible now, and that's only on three pounds. So once we get the firing, definitely gonna pull a lot better. But uh, yeah, just wanted to uh, get you guys a little video out, show you kind of what's been going on. Just been doing some editing and some tuning and stuff like that. Um, we got this right here. This is the parameters for the VTEC side. So VTEC's actually working now, makes a huge difference. Um, the two would be the fuel side on the VTEC. And that's what all this is right here. Air fuels look really good on the actual gauge. Um, it's a little different, but this tin right here is from a no lift shift, which if we go into my parameters, I can show you that real quick. We got, oops. That's my launch control settings for anyone that is curious. Um, that's how I have it set up. You may want to change it different, but um, just don't go too far from 5300 to 59. Don't go any farther because that's when you can start bending rods. And yes, you can even bend the, bend the forged rods. Um, let me find this real quick. All right, so full throttle shift up top. Um, I always have mine set to always on. If I can actually click that. Okay, apparently got two fat of thumbs or something. Always on. And then this is my shift limiter. You can actually lower that and raise it. This actually does help keep full boost in between gears. So that way you don't have to let off the throttle. Um, but if you're not super fast at shifting, I don't recommend these settings. Just do it normal. But it works really well, super easy to do. And you can have minimum speed, maximum TPS, so on and so forth. So that way, if you have it always on, you have to meet these minimum requirements. Um, so yeah, you can adjust all those settings, but just be careful when you're messing with your own tune settings and stuff like that, because it is super easy to blow an engine. Ask me how I know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all this stuff will be adjusted by Michael, and then I won't touch it no more because, well, Michael's tunes are beautiful. He does a really good job with his tunes. They function properly, pull real hard, and this thing is not even, it's not even a built engine. It's just the stock one. Uh, well, the stock JDM D15B. But intake and all that, and that's basically it. Um, so we will definitely have this thing a lot faster once he adjusts everything else. So you guys will definitely have to subscribe and stay tuned for that. Check out some of my other videos. Go through my playlists. Um, I have a lot of videos people haven't seen on this channel, like me doing a head gasket blindfolded on a D-Series, like legit blindfolded. Um, took me two and a half hours. It's pretty cool. And uh, everyone said it couldn't be done. That's why I did it. Um, if you guys get interested, definitely go browse my videos. It helps the channel a lot. Please hit the like button. Share the videos around. And uh, if you get bored, just uh, keep browsing because there's plenty there. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I'm going to take him back home and uh, not do anything bad because that's... You know, that's what you're not supposed to drive these things fast on the streets, guys. No. No, don't. Don't do that. Never. It's horrible. You monsters. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. See you guys in the next video. As I like to say, God bless. Stay safe. Stay awesome.